games. Good feature, the first one that came in Crystal Caves. I'll show you the extended version because I actually added a little bit more. So I'll show you say took a little bit more. I took away some parts, like the first part I took away from. Alright, here we go. Uh, I'll show you the harmony. The names in update, this should be Flowering Bee Ambient Volume. Another part to this. Um, you guys have noticed, may have noticed when I uploaded Crystal Caves Good Feature, it was actually called Crystal Cave Good Feature, and uh, this part over here was not duplicated. I didn't copy this part twice, which is why I did. I copied this part over here. Yeah, but yeah, I copied over, I duplicated this part twice, so. This is the final version of Crystal Cave Good Future, so it should be. Oh yeah, I forgot. I didn't actually save over it. Oh god, uh... Alright, there you go, I save... There we go, save it. Yeah, I added another part to it, because I really love that part of the song, and I also renamed it to have an S, so it was, about, it was planned to be one huge cave, but I made it into one system of caves, but of course, I haven't even developed the game, and I don't plan on it, because I don't have that much experience in programming to make such a game. Hell, the people that I know at school who are like very good at programming couldn't even make Tetris, they couldn't even do that, and I... Uh, those two people that are really good at programming at my school, they're, they're currently trying to make Asteroid, that really old 90, I'm not sure if it's a 90s game, but it's a really old 1900s game, late 1900s of course, but yeah, and they can't even like do that, because it took a lot of work from them. They could do Snake though, they could do that, but yeah, <laughs> I'm not good at experience, like, at programming, but I could show you guys what I could do with programming, if I wanted to. Which, I, which I'm going to do. But yeah, Crystal Cave good feature. That, that took some time to make. Um, Crystal Cave's present. That was an accident of development of the soundtrack. And uh, here we go. Yeah, I took some inspiration from the good feature. And I put it here.
Oh yeah, because I cut out the first part of the song and made it extended. Yeah. <coughs> That's what I do for most of these extended songs. If you hear anything in the background, that's my drawer. Because I'm sitting right on it. Pretty much a stagnant harmony. The harmony did not change at all during the song. Because usually in my formula songs, I make the harmony go one way, then for some part of the song, I change it drastically or some. But I did not bother to do that for Crystal Caves. Now, admittedly, I did have some lower points of the soundtrack where I don't think the music was that good, and specifically my least favorite song in the soundtrack. Or that which was in the soundtrack, because I removed it, it was so bad I had to remove it from the soundtrack and replace it. But it's Beautiful Beach Bad Feature, it was my least favorite song in the entire soundtrack. So bad, I actually had to replace it. And like, still, that song was so bad, I actually could not even talk about it, because it just gave me flashbacks of how horrible I was. It was that bad. But yes, I, I remastered it. <laughs> it does sound better. And it doesn't give me uh, any of those flashbacks. Uh, Crystal Cave's Pass was also one of my least favorites, I think. I don't know, I, I just don't really bother too much with this song. I know a lot of people like it, but I don't. I like that one. Oh, maybe it's not one of my least favorites, I just don't listen to it much, but I say most of the bad features, I didn't like them too much. They are, they are, at the worst, mediocre, but they didn't touch me as much as, um, what is it, Ambient Aquarium bad feature, that one was like the best. <laughs> uh, Floating Forest bad feature, that one wasn't actually bad, it wasn't actually bad, it was really good. Um... Oh yeah, House Pianos 1, I never got to release that. Uh, I Wanna Be Your Supergirl, it's a weird name for a song, but yes. I actually did make it, and I should extend it, because it's a really good song. But it was my first try with the, uh, rock pop genre. And I like it, I really like it. Uh, let me show you guys Wonderful Workman's Pass. Now, if you guys didn't notice, some of the songs in the soundtrack were heavily inspired from Sonic CD. Um, Wonderful Workbench Pass was inspired by Wacky Workbench Present US from Sonic CD. Yes, absolutely true. Um, in fact, all of the four timelines were heavily inspired from Wacky Workbench from Sonic CD. Um, the present was supposed to be a remix of my already remix of Wacky Workbench Present Japanese. So yes, I remixed the Japanese version of Wacky Workbench Present a long time ago. And I remixed it for a third time for this song. Yes, I remixed it a second time in my dynamic song. Which came out a while ago, in November. It was actually a song where I learned how to save. Yes, this does sound like Black Girl Prince Present US. Now, at the beginning, it's supposed to sound very... Very boring, very... Unenergetic, very slow. And here we go, it picks up over here. Oh wow. This was the same harmony for the bad future. <laughs> Didn't even notice that. Oh, 
Alright, here we go. Here's the part that sounds like it. Yeah, does it not sound like Black Direct Match Present US? This is a holiday beats keys and strings. Soft strike driven. I think that's actually a Christmas carol. I'm not sure. Some of the names of those loops are actually Christmas carols. Alright, let me leave. Nope, it's not actually a name of a Christmas Carol. Okay, because most of those loops in the holiday songs were... Yeah, does it not sound similar? <sighs> Did I introduce a guitar somewhere? Yep, here we go, the loud guitar. Yep, then I finally added the Columbo bass. Um, oh yeah, I should show you the original song, which in fact I don't have to actually use any of those. I can just go to my own styles to the pop. Yeah, these are free. I got those for free. I traded them for free. Um. Yeah. Yep. This is, in fact, called You Can Still Do It, but, in fact, I actually took a, a different part of this. This is my first ever song made, and this is a demo song. This is what happens. This this will always show up when you click on this. This is the demo. In fact, this is the demo when you try to buy it. They'll actually show you a demo of the song, but I didn't bother to get a demo. Here we go. This is what I used for You Can Do It, and this part was used for You Can Still Do It. Really good remix, but both of those were inspired off of the demo song that was made by the dev team. So those songs weren't truly 100% mine, but then again, not everything on the internet is 100% original. It has some type of inspiration. Um, wonderful work, bench pressing. It is a remix of Wacky, Wacky Workmatch Present J in Dubstep Mix. I also forgot to mention, um, I did change the logo of Sonic CD Fanmade, so there's one where, um, it just showed a 2 in Fanmade at the bottom, but I moved the 2 to being bigger, close to the Sonic CD logo, and I put Fanmade on the bottom in big letters. And I might change it to just being Sonic CD 2, because honestly it doesn't seem like Sega's gonna make a Sonic CD 2, but I may have to change it from Sonic CD 2 and add something else to it. That way I don't get copyright claimed when I'm dead, and Sonic, Sonic CD 2 is actually a thing. <laughs> Which I know that probably might actually happen, so I can't really keep it Sonic CD 2, can I? Unless the fan base there actually gives a shit about what I'm doing. Cause from what I've seen, it's like I tried promoting a soundtrack in a two Sonic CD songs, and nobody's really bothered. <laughs> of course, nobody really likes advertisements, though. That's, that is a true fact. Uh... Uh, dynamic. I think I called it uh, Dubs at February. I, it was going to be a song, but I scrapped it. I didn't like it. Oh god, <laughs> that scared the hell out of me, that background.
Oh yeah, this is gonna be another dynamic, always changing song, but I didn't go with that. I didn't want to go with that idea. Here we go, dynamics. Matter of fact, let me change it to the, uh... Let me change the background to the original artwork. And yeah, I, I did make artwork for it, if you didn't notice. Um, here we go. Oh, you can't see that. But it has a uh, black with white letters of dynamics always changing. <laughs> oh, I have I changed it to something very off topic. <laughs> yep, there's me. And oh god, I look ugly. Didn't I download a, one of these one of these pictures from my own? Yeah, there's me right there in the background. What about Hecapoo? Damn, this is like really pixelated. I have so many pictures of our save line. I'm not checking out to very idiots. Oh. <laughs> oh god. And it's neighbor's dog getting mad. If I can really shut down. Um. Wow. Oh, I think guys might recognize this. The meme formats. <laughs> I say the meme formats. I should make a video where I just edit meme formats for uh, my love of Wacky Rick Bench Good Future. What else? What else did I put here? What else? Um, let me see if I can find uh, something that's actually like very related to what I've been doing in my... Oh yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Really cool. I should probably... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, this is May November, and this is my musical skill. Alright, let's leave this one. I go to the extended version, I actually did extend it, and I actually did change it. There was a slight, um, difference, but yes, I did change it. I made some sounds that are, like, very high-pitched, a little bit lower-pitched. There we go. <laughs> uh, I know, I know what I can change it to. I, I think I downloaded a very funny picture that you guys might like. Uh, <laughs> what? There we go. I know you guys would like that. No, you guys would like that. It is a very scary picture, but that's actually a thing in the game. Shadow Candy, it can actually appear in the game under very rare appearances. Um, oh, so you guys might know this. Sonic City, aka the best 90s game in existence. What else? Uh, is it raining? I thought it, I thought it wasn't. Um, oh, my profile picture. It is very pixelated. <laughs> That's what it looked like when I searched for it in Google like three years ago. Oh, we have Palutena. Oh god, no, why to do that? It's not supposed to be on it's not supposed to be like that. Um
Um, we have some dead girl in Corpse Party. Speaking of that, I should play Corpse Party. It's a really good game. I should really play it. Maybe if I can use my money strategically, I can actually get it. Thing is, I don't know which one I'm going to play. I don't know if I should play Blood Drive, uh, Sechiko's Birthday Bash, which is the newest one for us Americans. Or should I say for us English people, because the English version got released uh, two months ago. Uh, I've seen I, I've seen all of what Course Party has to offer, but I'm not playing Book of Shadows. That game sucks. Course Party Book of Shadows sucks. It sucks balls. <laughs> Blood Drive is my favorite, along with the, um, Course Party 2, the news thingy. It's not even a full game yet. Yeah, I have lots of Course Party in my images. I should really fix that. Um... Ayumi Shinazaki, the central main character of Course Party Blood Drive. She is also in the other Course Party games, even in the original version of Course Party Blood Covered. Um, yeah. I say Satoshi was probably the main character of um, Course Party, the original version, and um, the rebuilt version, and the Blood Covered, which were basically the same game, but differently. But Blood Covered is vastly different. From the other two. It actually has more characters in it, more story. Oh, this game, Pocket Mirror. I remember that game, dude. I should play it. It's a fantastic RPG game. It is fantastic. Alright. It's not it's not as good as Course Party, but it's fantastic. Um, we have Mario holding, uh, weapons <laughs> from Mario the Music Box. I should play that game, probably. I'm not sure if you guys would like it, um, because, uh, one of it is actually Mario killing everybody. Rayman Origins, oh my god. And that's fantastic soundtrack. But Legends is the better game. It even has the Rayman Origins levels in it, so. Oh yeah, t concept art I found off the internet. <laughs> it's, not, it's probably not going to make it into the final soundtrack cover, if I ever do have one. Ghetto House Tour. Jeez, can I actually find something good though? We'll just leave it to the heck of who images on my computer. There. Alright, 